Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. We're going on another adventure. We've loaded up Trudy Thunder. And we're ready to hit the road. We're gonna head south, travel through Dallas, down 45 to a little town of Corsicana, and then we're gonna cut across to Waco and go pay a visit to Waco Lake and explore Spiegelville, Spiegelville? Spiegelville Park, as well as all the other Corps of Engineer parks on Waco Lake. So let's go see Spiegelville Park. gray and dreary drive that was it got better after we got out of out of the metroplex anyway we have arrived spiegelville park we're gonna like this one i already am in love i've already unloaded little red but let's do a site review real quick we're actually going to camp in two different sites today tonight i'm in site number four And of course, we are lakeside. Look at that. And the pad is, man, this pad is perfectly, almost perfectly level. It is asphalt, but it's it's a well compacted asphalt. The 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 people that are taking care of this park, I'm not sure if it's the park volunteers or paid, but they've done a really great job they've manicured the decomposed granite for us we've got to I guess we need to talk about power and water it's a 30 50 and water site 50 amp pedestal water and we're lakeside now some of the some of the sites out here have covered pavilions site number four does not have anything over the table but it does have a a well groomed i mean look at look how someone paid a lot of attention to that and i really appreciate that so we have a, a barbecue pit fire pit picnic table that's on concrete and of course no campsite would be complete without the lantern holder the best of all we can walk down to the water now it is december 29 2021 we're at the end of the year. It's 85 degrees today. Now that the clouds and the rain have blown off, sun is shining. And it's going to be pleasant for a couple of days. But on our day of departure, it's going to be ugly. We're going to drop down into the 20s with possible sleet and snow. So I'm going to go from 
shorts to long underwear and britches. Anyway, we're gonna make the most of it while we are here. All right, let me get finished setting up camp and we'll go see some stuff. Spiegelville Park, Waco Lake. It's not a real big campground, but it's a very pretty one. I had no idea. Never knew how nice this little campground was. All right, so we gotta go. We gotta go find some stuff. If you're interested in camping at Waco Lake, Lake Waco, Spiegelville Park in particular, but you don't want to sleep in a tent and you don't have an RV, then you'd be happy to know they have screen shelters. And man, what a beautiful screen shelter that is. A little half picnic table bench. Well, there's two of them. No bunks, so make sure you bring a bed with you. And their ceiling fan is a bit defunct. So if you need a fan, you'll need to bring one of your own. But you cannot beat the view from the front porch. And if it's raining, you'll be camping in dry. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Spiegelville Park, Waco Lake, has a four lane boat ramp. Actually, there's only three now because they use one of them for the new courtesy dock. Because apparently, Corps of Engineers, the Corps of Engineers, US Army Corps of Engineers seems to be doing away with most of their floating boat docks. Lake looks pretty low. Now, Lake, Lake, Lake Awake is an impound on the Bosky River and one other. It's Bosky and something else. We can see, you can't see it, but the dam is right over there. We're going to see if we can go we'll check out the marina. There's a couple other stuff. So let's go see some more stuff at Spiegelville Park. Adjacent to Spiegelville Park. Now Spiegelville Park on Waco Lake is a Corps of Engineer campground. I know I've said that, but uh, I think it needs to be mentioned again. So I'm camped over at the Corps of Engineer campground, but right adjacent to that is a marina, the marina. It looks like they have a restaurant, the Minnow. It says now open, but it appears to be closed, probably for the season. Spiegelville Park on Waco Lake, well, all of the Corps of Engineer campgrounds on Waco Lake, they have a 14 day limit. So if you want to stay at Waco Lake for more than 14 days, then coming over to the RV campground, just might be your ticket. Looks like they've got several open spaces here at the end of the year. It does have the security gate to get in there, but they are tight. They're right next to each other. We're over here on the backside of the marina. Not, not just a huge marina. Certainly not all the big fancy boats that we were looking at up in Oklahoma on that marina tour that we did. All right, let's go find some more stuff. So if you're into flying radio controlled aircraft, you'll be happy to know that right outside of Spiegelville Park, there is a very nice, well-maintained radio controlled aircraft airport. Yeah, lots of cameras set up out here. I guess they do a lot of flying. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Well, I did wrong. We're at Spiegelville Park. 
changing sites. I'm moving from one site to another this morning. But I thought, you know, since I'm, I've got the, since Trudy's rolling, we might as well go visit the dump station. This has got to be one of the most screwed up dump stations I've been to. It looks really good. Looks great until you realize the ports for your hose are way up here. <laughs> so there's, if, if you need a bridge. So our, our hose comes out of the bottom, doesn't come out of the side. I guess it could have, but there's still that. Bring a bridge if you're coming out to Spiegelville Park. All right, stay tuned, more to come. We're at Wago Lake, Spiegelville Park. I've just relocated. I was in site number four. Of now, we're gonna be spending three nights in number 27. That is lake access down through the trees. Sun's rising here, so it'll be setting there. So during the summer, this would be, there would be a lot of sun shining on your campsite during the summer. Let's do a site review real quick. It is quite deceptive. I thought it was pretty flat. This tire is off the ground. And they even cheated the system a little bit because it was quite a bit off ways off the ground. I could change the tire. It's a front wheel, not a back wheel. Not ideal. I made a rhyme. Anyway, it's a 3050 water site. So we're talking about site number 27. Now that the phone call's cleared out. So this is why I wanted site number 27. During the spring, or during the summer, when the leaves are full, I bet this is just gorgeous. We have a covered patio, picnic table, big decomposed granite pad, place to put a tent. The, the driveway is long enough to put a couple cars. We have the lantern hook, the ubiquitous lantern hook, fire pit and charcoal cooker it's actually in pretty good shape and when i was when i was checking in yesterday the young lady at the gate was telling me that it, gathering firewood is pro permitted it's not prohibited it is permitted and there's lots of driftwood down there she said, no chainsaws. Shh. All right, stay tuned, more to come. Pulling into Spiegelville campground, you come in off of Highway 6. That's, what I, that's Highway 6 right up there. And it, as you pull off of Highway 6, it's kind of confusing because there's an entrance to the day use area, the Twin Bridges day use area. Now there is no day use area in Spiegelville. You have to come over here to the Twin Bridges to do day use kind of stuff. So that's where we are. Volleyball. If you got a big group of people that need to hang out with shelter, you got a big group shelter. There's a beach. There's actually people going swimming today, so we'll see if we can find a paved path to get down there. Did I mention it's it's the end of December? I told you, yeah, I did. I said it was December 28th when it's actually uh, December 30th today. Howdy! No paved path to get down there. There's one way over there. I take a little red off-road, but I sure prefer concrete. There's actually people swimming. I cannot believe people are swimming. December 30th, 
2020. The fella down here doing metal detecting. And music. So we can't hang out here too long. Somebody's jamming out. So the kids are wearing you out. And it's too cold to go swimming. Well, check this out. You got a great big shaded, huge shaded play structure. Man, what a gymnasium that is. So it would seem that there are, there's an extensive trail network all around Lake Waco. Of course, you can, you can hardly see the trail map because it's it's washed out. I'm sure there's some place online where you can access this trail map. Uh, we're down here somewhere Lacey Point entrance to Lake Waco trails so I think we're right here but that's a really wide trail and it is equestrian friendly so if you have horses this might be something you want to come and and check out as a matter of fact I'm parked in the horse trailer parking area all right Let's go find some more stuff. So if you're camping Lake Waco, if you're gonna ride the trails around Lake Waco, you're gonna need a place to camp with your horses. Reynolds Creek has an equestrian camping area. Nice paddocks, power. I don't see any, well, there's power and water at each one of these locations. It's a place to tie off the horses. And I would imagine that there's a trailhead here somewhere. So, if you're an equestrian looking to ride Lake Waco, or Waco Lake, Reynolds Creek is your campground. Let's go see some more stuff. In the ongoing effort to bring you quality content, we have journeyed from Spiegelville Park all across the lake, around the lake, and we are now currently checking out Airport Park right underneath the airport for the Waco Airport. I'm actually under the big group pavilion that has a fantastic echo. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're gonna see if we can get over there. We're camped out at Spiegelville on the other side of Waco Lake from where we currently are. We've journeyed around the lake to pay a visit to Airport Park. We're currently in Airport Park. Looking at the beautiful view, Airport Park actually has 
a number of screen shelters. There are only two screen shelters at Spiegelville, but they've got probably a dozen over here at Airport Park with a great view. Some of them are even right on the water. But of course those are occupied today, so I can't, can't show you those. Let's go see some more stuff. So if you're gonna be camping at Airport Park on Waco Lake, you're gonna need a, you might need a boat ramp. If you're gonna be camping with your boat, you're gonna need a boat ramp. I think we got one. Well, it's a steep one though. And I, I really think that the lake is, is way down. Uh, I say it looks like it's about 10 feet down. Anyway, boat ramp, check. Next, let's go see some more stuff. So if you're planning a visit to Waco Lake and you need to have full connections, Airport Park has got some beautiful, beautiful full connection sites. Uh, I, I, if you're looking for a full connection, this is the place. If you're looking for some really good primitive campsites where you can just sit in camp and fish, Airport Park has that going for it too. The only downside would be the, the airplanes, but so far all I've heard are small private aircraft, not big loud jets. All right. It's time to go burn some wood and drink an adult beverage. We have exhausted all of the places on Waco Lake to visit. Everything's closed. We were over at Reynolds Creek yesterday to shoot video and it's all closed. Midway is closed. So we have visited the two campgrounds that are open on Waco Lake. Nice campgrounds. Day use areas, eh, they're not, not that exciting. Anyway, we've actually finally got some sun at the end of the day, and that will herald in the rain for tonight. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. It'll be our, our last day. We may roll out of here a day early. The weather's supposed to get really unpleasant Sunday. Well, that brings us to an end. Our, that brings us to the end of our visit to Waco Lake. It is New Year's Day 2022. Looks like we've got weather rolling in, so we've decided to cut our visit short by about 12 hours and head home and drain tanks. So recap of our visit to Waco Lake. We, we, we really like the campgrounds. The campsites were all, all mostly, for the most part, level and well-maintained. I, I want to emphasize the campgrounds themselves are well-maintained. We were not very impressed with the day use areas. They seem to be, the day use areas seem to be, to be neglected. Uh, I don't know why that is, but it was a, it was a very, stark contrast from what you saw at the day use areas to the to the campgrounds wind is picking up so to 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 sum it all up waco lake definitely worth coming to visit a uh, fantastic waypoint stop if you're moving up and down 35 this is only 15 minutes if that off of 35 uh, great place to relax and unwind for a night maybe two and then move on down the road i did catch a couple fish i didn't i didn't document that too they, they weren't worth keeping uh there's there's bait available here at spiegelville park right out on highway uh six just there's a convenience store about a, two miles up the road cell service we were showing three and four bars of 4g but it was kind of intermittent and i don't know if that was because of demand or if it's just a bad tower or something even with the antenna pointed right at the tower it was still in and out the host the campground hosts and and staff very very nice 
bathrooms, a little bit dated, but clean and serviceable. So come see Wago Lake. You'll, you'll be happy that you did. All right, that brings us to the end of this little video. Hey, if you found some value or entertainment, I would be very appreciative if you'd click on that thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If this is your first visit, I would be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button right down there. Remember, hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, that is why we are here. This is why we came to Wago Lake to help you in your RV adventures. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?